Okay, guys. One thing you can do that's really good for your health, uh, it's to do with chi. You want, you know, if you've got pets, that's good too, uh, because what pets do is they keep chi moving in your house. Uh, but, you know, if you don't believe in chi and uh, whatever, um, that's okay. Um, I've got a water fountain grow, uh, you know going all the time in my house except you know except for night time obviously but um why water fan fountains you know apart from you know they look good in your house and um, I like the sound of uh, water sort of uh, you know running especially on hot days you know if you've got um, if it's a hot day uh, you definitely want to um, you know uh, have the sound of water going but what what why Water fountains are good. If you look it up, there's a thing called chi, and that's basically the uh, sort of the you know invisible invis energy that that um, is throughout the environment that gives things energy and keeps everything in uh, basically harmony, etc. Um, that's why when you go for a walk on the beach, when you go for a walk in the forest, what you usually feel good at afterwards is you know. You may not know it, but you're getting a boost of chi from the trees, from down when you're at the beach, from the sea. Um, but so these, any water fountain will, you know, apart from looking good and, um, uh, you know, uh, maybe helping to cool things down a little bit on hot days. Uh, it's very good for keeping the, what's called the chi uh, in your environment. Um, you want to have things, so especially if you haven't got any pets running around, um, you know, get get a water fountain. Uh, the water is continuously moving and water likes to continuously move. And what happens when, you know, water... Stay spot, uh, one spot for too long, it goes stagnant and it goes all green, etc. Um, okay, so you want to have um, things in your environment that are, are moving. That's why, even those, I don't know if you've seen them, but people used to have them a while back. Uh, it's like metal balls on a, on a, uh, they used to, people have them on the desk and you, you, the balls, the steel balls are hanging down, uh, and they're on a um, a base. And you get one end, and you you uh, bring the the ball out and hit it against the other balls, and they keep on clinging against each other. Same sort of thing, you know. That's G two. Uh, this one here is quite nice. Um, I'll leave a link to this. Um, I'll leave a link to some other uh, other um, things you can add to uh, your indoor um, environment, into your water fountains, etc. Um, but a very good idea to keep your environment. Um, if you look up, uh, what is it called? Jeez, I forget the name now. Um, feng Shui. Uh, which is big, uh, you know, people even do feng shui consultants for a living, and um, basically what a feng shui consultant does, it's if, so feng shui is F-E-N-G, uh, then S-U, S-H-U-I, I think. Um, what that does is, you know, keeps your, uh, feng shui is all about, having your house your environment in harmony okay now you might say what good does this do um your house is split into uh, uh with in feng shui um uh, hold on guys with feng shui um um your house is divided into different areas, you know, for health, etc. A certain area of the house is good for money, etc. Um, uh, you want to look up, uh, yeah, you want to look up uh, feng shui, uh, and then you'll learn about all this. Um, now, so what a fountain does, if you put a fountain, for instance, the one of these water fountains in your health, in the health area 
of your home, you know, believe it or not, you know, especially the Chinese, you know, believe that that will keep you in good health because you've got qi in that area, constant running, you know, free flowing qi in that health area. You can do the same with um, put it into the the like the wealth area of the home, which will be a certain area, according to this. Uh, uh, what's called the I think it's called the Bagwe Bagwe. Uh, don't quote me on that, but you know, do some study on this if you you know you're concerned with the environment in your house, house health, etc. In your house to keep you in good health and you know bring in the wealth, keep the wealth coming in because uh, that's all money is is uh, just energy, right? And um, so you want that energy. That's why it's actually better to, in some ways, it's actually. Uh, better to keep even the money flowing, flowing in and out. Keep it moving. Don't let it stagnate in the bank. Take it out of the bank. Put it on stocks. Put it on, leave it for a while in stocks or cryptocurrency. Then take that out and move it somewhere else, you know, because it's an energy. It likes to move. Okay. So this, these water fountains, uh, I'll put links below for this. Uh, they help with that. And, um, you know, apart from looking good, it actually will do other, th uh, other things help you. If you look up feng shui, uh, it'll help you keep your environment uh, in harmony. Now, the other thing it'll probably do with the help of other, um, things which I'll tell you about, uh, you know, like Shun Guide, I'll leave links for that. Uh, these will, you know, you got these fountains, um, I think they will actually help as well, you know, not a lot. But, you know, if you've got your house um, uh, energies working in harmony and, um, you know, the energies moving, they'll probably, you know, I haven't, you know, I'm just theorizing with this one, uh, probably keep the um, things like Wi-Fi energies and that, maybe disperse them a little bit more. But if you want to, if you are concerned about, uh, you know, Wi-Fi, electromagnetic fields, etc., what you want to do, um, especially with anything like this, you know, with these water fountains, because the water fountains are creating a, because you have to, you know, they plug them in, they will be creating a little uh, electromagnetic field. Um, what you want to do is put, um, put a couple of shungite rocks or, you know, uh, hang a, Shungite pendant around them, and Shungite is will actually absorb the those negative fields and uh, turn them into um, you know uh, harmonic fields. Um, so put some sh Shungite uh, around these. Put some Shungite even around you know your Himalayan crystal lamp. Um, I'll be doing a um, another uh, video on that, which is another way to keep uh, healthy. Um, um, so I'll leave links. Now another way uh, to uh, obviously to keep healthy is to do a thing called earthing. Uh, yeah, it used to be the only way you could keep healthy earthing. Now if you don't know about earthing, you want to research it. Probably one of the best things that people have uh, come across. Uh, a guy called uh, uh, Clint Ober um, discovered it in the modern world basically you're connecting with the earth used to be like five years five six seven eight years ago when i first came across it the only way you could connect with the earth really was to um wear bare feet but nowadays you can actually buy products you can sleep grounded by a, by a, by a uh, grounding or earthing sheet you can sleep grounding what does this do one thing it does is balance your stress hormone called cortisol which is extremely important in this day and age and you can you can be earthed while you're working on your computer by buying a, buying an earthing mat okay uh you can even buy earthing shoes so you're walking around outside in the garden whatever uh you can be earthed and still be wear shoes uh so earthing shoes there yes i'll leave links to the um all these earthing products um but there you go guys there's a way to keep the energy flowing in your house keep you know you you know some you probably know you walk into some houses and everything just feels stagnant feel things feel a bit stuffy uh so take care of this you know you can get a water fountain and um 
it'll help to keep you healthy, etc. Put a little, buy a few little uh, shungite uh, rocks uh, to put. Uh, what I would do is buy some sh little shungite. Sh Shungite's really uh, inexpensive. Uh, I'll leave links to Shungite. The best place to get Shungite is from a place in Russia. Uh, so I'll leave links to that. You can um, buy Shungite. Put it basically put Shungite all around your um, any electrical. Um, definitely, I would put Shungite uh, by your uh, what do you call it uh, modem, your Wi-Fi modem. Put Shungite around your uh, Wi-Fi modem and any of these el little electrical things like um, anything that's constantly going like alarm clocks or whatever put a piece of shung shungite around that put shungite um, even you could put shungite around your uh, smart meters I would definitely do that um, so there you go I'll leave the links to shungite as well there you go another um, health uh, concentrated uh, video and guys if you get any um, uh, value out of this um, please subscribe uh, to my subscribers already uh, thanks for subscribing uh, you can also donate um, cryptocurrencies I've got a list of cryptocurrencies uh, below uh, one that's if you don't know about cryptocurrencies you really want to get into it it's um, uh, the beauty of cryptocurrencies is the speed with which you can buy stuff. It's a digital currency, basically, cryptocurrencies. Um, and, you know, if, I'll give you an example why cryptocurrencies are good. Um, all my link, links for the cryptocurrencies I accept will be below in the description. Uh, here's one reason why cryptocurrencies uh, are good. Okay, so you're going overseas, so you're going anywhere, whatever. Um, or you, you know, okay, most most banks around the world uh, are closed in the weekends or at least definitely closed on Sundays okay or you put in a check and in a bank or whatever and it takes three days to clear or you know just nonsense like that uh, with cryptocurrency it's instant and you can you know send your cryptocurrency to pay for stuff uh, on Sunday and you don't have to wait for three business days and all that sort of stuff uh, so that's why cryptocurrency is good so there you go guys I said cryptocurrencies now the other way you can help me out uh, you know if you, you know uh, is you can actually watch this on a thing called BitTube which is a um, um, what do you call it uh, website um, that you get paid in a cryptocurrency called Tube for uploading your video. So, say you've got a YouTube channel, uh, guys. Most people have now. Uh, they've got a link on BitTube where you can connect all your YouTube videos, and they'll a copy of them will all go to BitTube. And you, for everything you upload, for everything you view on BitTube, you get paid in a thing called Tubes, and you can ultimately turn those Tubes cryptocurrencies into money if you want. Or you can, um, you know, sit on them and wait for them to go up in money. Okay. Uh, but with BitTube, yeah, if you watch my videos on YouTube, BitTube, and there should be a link below this, you'll see watch on BitTube. Uh, on there, you can, under each, every, every video on BitTube, you'll see two red links. You'll see one for subscribe and one for tip. Now, what a tip does is like, you know, tipping people uh, in uh, a restaurant or cafe, whatever. Uh, uh, you know, so if you get anything of value for what that particular video, unlike Patreon where you have to pay monthly, you can actually, a tip, what a tip will do is you can tip a dollar or whatever for just that video and then that's it. So there's that. However, if you are not able to do any of that, I'd uh, appreciate it uh, uh, if you subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one, which is very soon.